crazy because they kept saying, um, just the weeks and months prior to the Olympics, you know, they kept saying, oh, you're the favorite going in, and I kept saying, you know, it's the hurdles, anything can happen. And it's just so ironic that that anything happened to me. <laughs> yeah, well, especially, I mean, watching it at the time, you were just so clearly in front. That... The, the race was just going so smoothly, like, in the middle part, I just, I caught my rhythm, and just everything was clicking, and it was just like a golden road, and it was like the light shined down, I was like, oh, and, just disaster. I didn't even see it coming. And um, I hit that hurdle and completely lost balance. For me, it normally happens about twice a year in, you know, practice or whatever where it just really shakes you. And um, it's just crazy that it happened at the biggest race of my life. Um, I don't know. It's uh, It happened right before the Olympic trials. And to me, I normally take it as a good sign. It means that you're running a rhythm that you're not used to, so you're about to run really fast. But I just, I couldn't maintain. I think this year, this is my first Olympics, but there was a lot of stress and emphasis for the Americans to bring back medals and especially gold. And normally I feed and love pressure, you know, LSU, national championships. I'm used to this, but uh, I don't know, it was a different stage and I just, I didn't do it. You know, the USA still brought back the gold and I know the two other girls who medaled and you know what, they're great girls and they deserve that medal because if, you know, it's the hurdles. It's not 100. They put the hurdles there for a reason. You have to get over them. If you can't get over them, you're not meant to be the champion. Yeah, well, I want to go home and cry and hide in my house, but uh, I'm just going to go out there and keep running. You know, I'm still the world's fastest hurdler, and I can just try to get faster.